For years, Anna Ford has had sleep apnea, a chronic medical condition where she repeatedly stops breathing in her sleep. There were nights when the 77-year-old would stop breathing as many as 60 times an hour. Well, I didn't sleep well. I would wake up at night after holding my breath, not realizing that's what was happening. Uh, I'd wake up and sometimes I thought I was, my heart was going to stop. Anna was also diagnosed with congestive heart failure three years ago. Both conditions made her a suitable candidate for a clinical trial at the University of Ottawa Heart Institute led by Dr. Robert Beanlands. One of the goals of the trial was to determine whether or not uh, a treatment for sleep apnea called CPAP, which means continuous positive airway pressure, uh, whether or not that treatment can actually improve the heart's efficiency. Roughly 60 patients took part, including Anna. CPAP therapy involves sleeping with a mask on that is connected to the CPAP machine, which uses mild air pressure to keep the airways open. When you get used to it, you don't even realize you have it on. To measure her progress, she had to undergo a number of tests, including an echocardiogram. So we have four valves inside the heart. We can see them pretty clear, use ultrasound. The echocardiogram is a non-invasive ultrasound test for the heart. It determines the structure, function and size of the heart by using ultrasound waves. Yep. Anna, we're going to start the scan now. There is also a positron emission tomography or PET scan. It's a nuclear test that looks at the flow of blood and oxygen. It's like the opposite of the x-ray. The x-ray shoot radiation to the patient and goes through the body. This is the opposite. The radiation source is the patient. Okay, and, it, and this machine only takes pictures of that. After her involvement in the clinical trial ended, Anna says she felt much better than when it began. I had to be helped with my hygiene, my washing, my dressing, and uh, I could even to scratch myself. That sounds so simple, would use all my energy. I was able to walk more, and gradually my walking improved, you know, so now I don't have to use a wheelchair. We found that in the patients with moderate to severe levels of, of sleep apnea, those patients had an improvement in the efficiency of their heart. So they had an improvement in, in essentially the kilometers per liter of the heart as an engine. Dr. Beanland says they presented the preliminary results to the American Heart Association. A key piece is that we can actually now provide another therapy in addition to other therapies that we have that, that is going to be a benefit to patients to help them um, improve their quality of life. The Heart Institute is now collaborating with experts in Toronto in a much larger trial to see if sleep apnea therapies can improve a patient's long-term outcome. As that study takes place, Anna's friends are thankful for the progress she is making. They say it's remarkable how far she has come. I think everyone close to her is beside themselves with joy to see her so strong and vibrant again. And uh, we always say Anna has one woman that has strong faith and she's got a strong constitution and an iron will and got her through it. <laughs> I've received wonderful care. The staff is all upbeat. They're always, uh, that really encourages you when you come, like positive and kind. The Heart Institute has been instrumental, really, in keeping me alive.